There must be a hundred million channels on YouTube of people riding enduro bikes. But uh, how many people riding enduro bikes take a couple of bottles of salty lychee with them and go picking mushrooms in the rain? Can't be that many. You'd think there was a niche market for it. Well, if there isn't, maybe I'll do some other weird stuff as well. Like uh, walking around in uh, canyons. That yellow mushroom down there, he's staying down there. That one just there, he's staying there. And so's that one over there. But uh, it's not exactly the mushrooms that's drawn me to this next bit. That's that red bit of dirt over there. I was going to ride to this bit, but uh, I haven't got a spare bag to put the mushrooms in, so they can stay back there at the moment. Now, I wouldn't advise anyone to ride a bike along here, even though it can be done. Just because it can be done doesn't necessarily mean it should be. Especially when you take a look over the side. That's weird, if I was to climb up a steel tower, I would freeze would fear. But looking down there, what's that, 100 foot, 200 foot? Looking down there doesn't bother me at all. How oh, odd. Anyway, because I am odd, I do this shit. And I've just come to this bit here. There's no bikes going down, but it doesn't mean to say that a bloke in motocross boots can't go down it in the pouring rain. Because basically, my curiosity says, what's that actually look like down in the bottom? Hey, only one way to find out. Now I am going to need two hands for this. It's actually easier than going down in the Grand Canyon. I had to use rope access, whoops, uh, rope access gear to get down there. My, uh, O'Neill boots are actually staying together now, now that I've fired a load of screws into them. Oh, there we go. Only a small mountain. Like I said, you'd think with all the enduro videos out there, there might be a niche market for weirdo enduro videos. Oops, the uh, rider just goes completely off on one. Ah. See, this is what you can't... You can't actually grasp the scale of things from the top. It just looks like a long way down, but... Uh, we are actually down now. In the valley. But what goes on in the valley? Because I'm sure nobody comes down here. Most definitely not on a bike. But look at all this riding. There must be a way in here to ride this. Right. Like I said, curiosity and all that. I'm going to have to end up walking along this now. Um, and I know what's going to happen. If I don't pick or mark the mountain I came down on, I'm not getting back out. So uh, I'll just, um, let me see, what's the time? Four minutes. You probably got bored by now. So uh, I'll end this one here and I'll film a little bit more around the corner later.